I'm Ross Koenigs. I'm the owner and brewmaster of Second Dawn Brewing Company and the author of Brewing with Hemp, The Essential Guide. And here is your craft beer and brewing tip of the week. How to use cannabis as a flavor ingredient. It may sound a little big and scary, but actually we already know quite a bit how to do it. You just don't quite know it yet. You may or may not know that cannabis and hops are botanical cousins. You have cannabis sativa and humulus lupulus that all share a common biological ancestor and diverge from one another about 25 million years ago. From what researchers theorize is they grew from a common ancestor somewhere on the Tibetan Plateau in China. While physiologically hops and cannabis may look very different, physiologically they actually share quite a bit in common. The female flowers, also known as inflorescences, both grow in very similar ways between both species and more or less you can think about it conceptually is that you have a cone either off of the hop vine or the female flower. It's a little bit of a misnomer to call it a flower. It's more correct to call it inflorescence fluorescences in that each one grow tiny little flowers that are all densely clustered that make up what we think of as the overall flower or cone. And so uh, as we're looking at it, we need to kind of zoom in a little bit more on each individual thing, both either from hops or cannabis, and really look at the primary constituents that we're interested in looking at as brewers, which is primarily the protective function of all of the reproductive material of the flower, which is glandular trichomes. In hops, the trichome is kind of this bulbous shape. It almost just looks like this kind of blob that sits on the leafy bract material. And in cannabis, it has kind of this big spear with a big bulb on top. If you're up on Cannabis World, you probably see different microscopy. You've probably seen photos of people doing microscopy on glandular trichomes of cannabis, and they look like these really spiky, evil, looks like it could be a picture of a foreign world or something like that. It's super cool. I recommend you check it out. From the constituents of the glandular trichomes, really what we're interested in is two constituents. One, you have the aromatic oil fraction, and then you have the hard resinous fraction, which in the case of cannabis contains all of our cannabinoids. Similarly in hops, we look at the constituents of the glandular trichomes that provide both the oil fraction, which gives us our flavor and aroma in our beer. And then we also have the hard resin fraction, which gives us our bittering constituents, along with a lot of the antimicrobial properties that we look for from hops in beer. Through our understanding of hops in the brewing process, we actually have a pretty good understanding of how cannabis is going to perform as a flavoring ingredient. We're going to look at a few common hop addition points in which you can add cannabis, and we're going to evaluate a lot of the things that we already know about terpene and flavor biochemistry and apply that from our understanding of hops into our understanding of cannabis. To find out more about brewing with cannabis, click the link below.